Grand Rising, everyone. Good evening, everyone, depending on what part of the world you're in. I have something more to speak about. This is going to be short. It, it just doesn't seem that we, as black people, can do something without the F-ups. And it's been like that for decades. What is wrong with us? Why can't we have a concert, a gathering, even a cookout? Without somebody showing out. I mean, there's a cutoff point. I, I, I know we can say, well, you know, things always happen now. Let's not get that mistaken. But it just seems like from the 90s, 2000s, you know, time is really flying. I'm not scared that time is flying, but it is scary in a way because we're being catapulted into a future that's really twisted. But it's not like we don't have a track record for doing things and shooting up concerts and shooting up parties and, and doing this. And I mean, I know all races do this, but come on, y'all. And I know they push the narrative even more because, you know, the majority of mass shootings in America are by angry white men. We understand that. But they don't push those statistics as much. Just the same way when we have something happen with us. They push it more. I understand that. But we should not be doing this stuff with each other. And as much as I can say, we need to wake up, we need to stop doing this, it's going to happen more. Why is it this way? The mentality, the insecurity, the, feel, the feeling of not, I don't know. Is it the media? Are we watching too much social media or, or violent movies? I want some answers. I, I, I want to get a dialogue going about this because I'm not the, the, the all-knowing the all-knowing one, <laughs> right? But I go on what I see. I've worked in jails and prisons. I've been, I'm not a street dude, but I've been in the streets passing through and neighborhoods and observing things and talking to people. And it's like, we have to go from zero to 60 in 0 0.2 seconds. What happened to being able to resolve things, to talk things out? We just we'll pull out a gun. And we're sitting in the prison or the jail looking stupid or in the hospital in critical condition looking stupid. Why is that? And we're killing each other. There's enough from the common enemy being done to us. And we're helping him, her, that system, whatever you want to call it. Why am, why am I talking this way? Well, I, I, every day I go sniffing around when I wake up. I sniff around to see what the buzz is online. Not because I want to be a reporter, but I might have something that I see that I might have a unique angle in talking about it because I'm not a talking head. If I can't find an angle, I'm not talking about it. It could be something where the whole world is talking and I'm not going to talk about it unless I see something unique in it that, that I can share, that can make you think. Because YouTube is driving somebody, most people crazy. They want to be there all the time and I know people who are not creators that fall asleep with the phone in their hand watching people. They may watch like five or six types of channels that involve real people, not just information, right? They'll look at information, but they got to be on Clubhouse. They got to be on the lives. They got to check the chat rooms of those people that are in the chat room and click on their, their thing and see who they are. And I think that's this person. They changed their name and ah! <laughs> It's crazy. And people ask me how I survive online because I don't do that stuff. I, 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 I just, let's just say it this way. I shouldn't get off the pot. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> That's why I stuttered. <laughs> but this is what made me talk like this. Here's the article that I pulled up. At least 10 injured in Miami Gardens shooting during French Montana video shoot. Huh, Miami Gardens. My father-in-law just passed away last year, and that's where he had his house. I'm not going to say I know it well, but I know enough to get around that I know that was kind of like, it's, it's not a big area. So I'm not going to say I know it, but it hit home. It really made it like, wow, Miami Gardens, what's going on down there? So here it is. And I'm reading this off a phone, and the phone has glitches sometimes, y'all. Multiple people were wounded Thursday night in a shooting after an altercation outside a restaurant in South Florida, police say. It occurred while rapper French Montana was shooting a mu music video at the time. 
as many as 10 people were wounded in the shooting outside a soul food restaurant in Miami Gardens called The Licking. Is that a favorite lesbian spot? I don't know. <laughs> it's located <laughs> in the uh, 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 the 17600 block of Northwest 27th Avenue for those who live down there. Investigators were looking into reports that a video was being shot at the restaurant. Yeah, it was being shot and people being shot up. Miami Gardens Police Chief Delma Noel Pratt said. We believe it's an isolated incident, Noel Pratt said. Cell phone footage um, showed French Montana outside the restaurant wearing a red shirt. One witness said Mogul told the news outlet he came out to watch Montana shoot the video. Then someone in the crowd was robbed of his watch, keys and wallet. He asked to call his mother and see if he can get spare keys and make sure, you know, he's okay. And then the gunshots went off, Mogul explained. At least 13, 14, 15 gunshots. It was very rapid. It sounded like an assault rifle. Four people were airlifted to a hospital. One person was in critical, critical condition as of Thursday night, which is last night. The conditions of other patients were unknown, including the rapper. At this point, there was no indication that he was amongst the injured. Okay? No fatalities have been re reported. We hear these kind of stories all the time. It's becoming commonplace. We have a rapper or some black celebrity, and there's a shooting. There's always that element of, I would assume, to be either jealousy uh, some kind of beef between someone there in the crowd. It doesn't even have to be the celebrity. But it falls under his name now. He may not have had anything to do with it. It may not be the fault of rap music. But it's a certain spirit across the board that when we have events that draw attention, something that is huge or even something that involves a celebrity, there's somebody who has to come there and show out. I don't like it. And this is why, for the most part, in America, I just have gotten out of ever going to anything where there were any celebrities. If I did, I just ended up there. Like, like I didn't know this was happening. I'm here right now. Let me just chill for a few minutes and get out of the way because I know it could possibly happen. That's a damn shame that you can't go anywhere out there like, like that and, and just enjoy yourself without the threat of some fool wanting to mess things up. What is it with these people who... Say, for example, that was an assault rifle that he had. What are you doing walking around with an assault rifle? That really shows me your mentality. And it makes you not enjoy events because you don't know who's who, who's going to be that person who just wants to do something. And before they do it, they think about it. It's not like, well, I'm here and I just want to shoot people up and I happen to have an assault rifle on me or a gun. They bring those things to these events. Whether there's an, a problem with one of the performers or one of the celebrities or somebody else who's there, why do you want to go to these places and shoot up innocent people and bring innocent people into your mess? I'm pro-black, but I'm not pro-nigger. And these are niggardly things that happen. And I'm not against anybody, but, but, but I can't sign off on that. And it's quite disgusting. And I distance myself from ignorance as you should. Because if a person has that kind of heart, what kind of life are they living? They can't be positive. They can't be aspiring to go higher in some area in life. If this is your mentality. And you don't care who you hurt. So therefore that shows me you're in some type of pain. But it's something you're not acknowledging. Instead of going to get help for the pain that you're in, whatever it may be, maybe you're low on money. Maybe your woman just left you. Maybe, I don't know, the factions in this world have gotten to you, but you lash out on your own people. Whatever it is, it's something that you haven't dealt with and you want to take it out on the whole world. This is why most of the time, unless I'm with my hand-picked comrades... I don't really mess with anybody. And you got to understand that it's not just a gun that you have to watch out for. You have people who might be in your midst. 
who are envious of you, who, who have some kind of resentment towards you, and they bring a certain spirit. And as soon as I sniff that, get away from me. Get away. I don't need that. Take it somewhere else or deal with your internal issues. I've been dealing with mine for almost six decades. And I still got a few things that I got to deal with. It's like I've been going PTSD a lot recently. And I love it because it's necessary. You need to go PST, P, PTSD to get certain things away from you so you can have some peace of mind. We've all been traumatized. I know I have. It's, hap it's a good thing to have that in your utility belt when you need to use it, though. I ain't going to lie. You know, you have that guy out in the hood, so-called, right? And he's a good guy, pretty much. He may have some little vices of his own, but he's like the Robin Hood. I know several people like that. He's like the Robin Hood of the neighborhood. And when he sees some wrongdoing, don't call the police. Let him know, and he'll go knock out the guy's teeth. He'll go slash the guy's neck. And we all know what he did when they find out the body or somebody who's going to the dentist now. But that's the way it is. It keeps balance because now you have a fear of stepping over the line and having a scene made at you. Yeah, some people deserve it. But walking around with a gun? I, I mean, you know, I've had times when I've walked around dressed a certain way. But it's because where I was. But it still shouldn't be that way. Why is it that there's always that person who's attracted to an event that involves us where there's a little glamour? There might be some pretty women. There might be some nice cars around and people are shooting a video. It's a business thing. It's something that goes along with the music and it's somebody that shows up there envious. Why is that? What is wrong with us? I'm going to end this here. I just want to hear from you. What is wrong with those of us who carry on that way? I really want to know. That's the ultimate Rubik's Cube in my mind. I have a, I, I, I can figure out a Rubik's Cube before I can figure out that. Do you know what Rubik's is? That's an old thing from back in the day. It's still around, I guess. But it's easier to figure out the Rubik's Cube in pitch darkness than it is to figure out how some black people act. And want to show out and want to share their pain with others. It's really, really ridiculous. I hope all of those who got shot, they come out of it healthy. That person who's in critical, critical condition, may they come out. These are real people, y'all. This could be your family members. This could be a spouse. This could be a child. This could be your neighbor. It could be anybody. The bullets really don't have a name on it. Grandmothers have been killed. Children have been killed by stray bullets. These people who do this, who will pull out a weapon, really and truly, I think we've been too numb to this. A person who is not legal, has no legal right to carry, which validates who you are. If you're a nutcase, you can't carry. Because some people say, well, you know, we got to be able to carry, man. You know, the government ain't going to let me. Well, why not? Why won't they let you? They already don't want to let you. But now you gave them a reason. You got issues. You have a past. Oh, so be it. Then you have a higher propensity to doing something stupid. Stupid. Really and truly. Carrying guns. You shoot people. For what reason? Was it self-defense? It's hard enough to prove a case when you have an illegal weapon and you're trying to shoot somebody for self-defense. I don't understand it. You pull out a weapon and shoot innocent people, you should be locked away for life. And that's got nothing to do with the white man. That's because of your dumb black ass. Let me know how you feel. Lance Gerv out on to the next one. Much love to you all. Thanks for your time. Peace.